you can well please welcome Mrs. Animal. Actually, it's Animal. I mean, got this guy and. His name's Tony. Hi. So, tell me about yourself. Um, well, I really like animals. Um, and um, I like animal crackers. Because if you have like a rhino, you first eat the horn. And then you can go to the legs, right? Because the legs, then you can go one, two, three, four. And then you can put the whole body in your mouth and you're done. And yeah, I just, I like all kinds of animals. Which kind of makes sense with my name in the movie, okay. you know, Miss Animal. Okay. I mean, I mean, what's your character? Explain me your character in Weather and Erosion. Oh. Sometimes, if there's like a sand pile, like here's my sand pile. Sand pile. And if this is all, which one should be the beaver? This is a beaver. Okay. And it crawls and it makes a tunnel. Make or not a beaver, a mole. I know my animals. A mole. <laughs> and it's crawling and it's making a tunnel. And then it erodes when it digs inside their life. Like that. Or sometimes um me and Miss Water are together in the movie. Who's Miss um, Water? Oh, you'll get to meet her next. That's me! <laughs> See what I mean? And, um, sometimes we have to work together, and, like, now this is the beaver, okay? So, beaver, and this is the water. Okay, that's the water. So, the water's doing that, and then the beaver comes along, doo, 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 stops it with a dam. And it puts some sticks and some trees, and it bites a tree and puts the tree, and it goes over here and bites another tree and it puts that tree in there. Maybe it'll find some sticks over here, and then it'll bait this tree, and then it'll and then it'll stack them, and then it'll find another tree, and then it'll stack them all up. Okay, this is getting really confusing. How about we if we show them? Oh, okay. okay. Um. So for this um demonstration, this is our sand pile. It's kind of a pile. It's really sticky. Okay, and this is our mole. Okay. So that's a mole. And He's going to go in there, and he's going to dig, and he's going to crawl under there, and he's going to come out the other side eventually. If you can see. But where he camera. dug, where he dug is right here, and there's a hole where he went under the there, land. and that pushed up the land and got rid of this land under here, and that is how an animal erodes the land. And welcome back. Now, one of another cast members of this awesome show, Weather and Erosion, please welcome Mrs. Plant. Hello. Hi. So, Mrs. Plant, will you explain to me about what you do in the movie? Well, plants, when like trees get bigger and grow, their roots can dig into the ground and go around rocks or go right through little rocks and break them down. Cool. Um, so, what was your favorite part of starring in this awesome show, Weather and Erosion? What was your favorite scene or person that you worked with? Favorite person that I worked with? Well, I know I have a least favorite. Miss Animal, she let her birds Go all over my plants. They need birds. Their space. They. <laughs> oh, cool. So, everyone give a big round of applause for Mrs. Plants. Thank you. Now, we're going to take a look at some of parts and we'll be back in a jiggy. Hi, guys. I am Miss Air. But Miss Water is having me do this little fun thing she made. So it's in stores today. Sand and your water. 
Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a- it's great. <laughs> In your stores today. Welcome back. And today, now we have another special guest. Please welcome Mrs. Water. I am going to demonstrate how waterfalls occur. <clears throat> Ooh, yay. And below becomes a pond, river, or lake. <sighs> to the lab we go. Here we have rain and acid rain. Acid rain, he grows the land more. Rain does not. One demonstration. As you can see, as it rains. No, wait, wait, please. <laughs> <laughs> see, the rose of land, boy. <laughs> as you can see, the little holes in this one is rain. And the puddle. <laughs> the mud puddle. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote that, boy. <laughs> tell you about a wonderful wonderful product. <laughs> they are pet rocks. They can be your new best friend. I personally would prefer animals, but I'm supposed to say I love rocks. So, I love rocks. These pet rocks are the best. You can look at them, and you can pick them up, and then you can set them back down. Just love them. They are the best. I think you should get yourself one. They're the best playmate, the best friend that you'll ever have. You can find them in stores today. Pet Pebbles sold separately. Well, that was fun. Now please welcome Mrs. Oxygen. Thank you, ma'am. It's actually Miss Air. Thank you. Sorry. You're welcome. So, tell me what you do in the movie. That's cool. So, in it, what do you do? <sighs> Explain to me what you do, what actually, how air or oxygen erodes the land. That's good. Thank you. Now, we're going to have a demonstration on apples. <gasps> Hi, welcome back. Please welcome Miss Air. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, you're doing your apple experiment? Yes, as you see here, I have an apple. <gasps> a few moments later. And as you see, my apple what happened to it when the oxygen slash air is happened. Cool. It's when it goes through oxygen. Seats with Miss Air. I, as you know, am Miss Air. And I can like all the time. So, I'm, I'm daddy. Daddy. <laughs> daddy. Daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, I started. Abby and so thank you for having us on the show. Thank you. It's been, been a, a pleasure. Um, I'm Mariano. This is me. I'm Miss Air. I'm, 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 I'm Alex. How's it going? I'm the major. I'm the bad person. The party's <laughs> over. Sit down. Really? Yeah. They don't have sharks at all.
Look at that. Look at that. Turn off. Sand. And your water.